are the nerds. We are the nerds of the apocalypse. All right, folks, we got a lot to talk about tonight, so we'll get right into it. Welcome back to the Notre Game Report. I'm, of course, Stevie B, and as always, this amazing human being next to me is... Tina is Ninja. Tina is Ninja right there. Okay. Right there. Right there. Uh, okay, so, got a lot to talk about tonight. I think we cut some things. Uh, but yeah, it, is, it is, it uh, is. you know, it's, it's late. Yo, we got nine to fives, okay? But we're here, and we're here to please you to talk about the video games. Let's go. Uh, so, I haven't dropped frames in a while, so maybe we actually get a good stream tonight. Let's let's go. Uh, <laughs> let's go. Let's go. Um, okay, so, what have you been playing? What have I been playing? Uh, yes, Still let's Animal hear. Crossing. Still Animal yes. Crossing. Uh, but you know, your girl has been trying her darndest to What's work that? up the courage to turn to even turn on the mortuary assistant <laughs> well i could let me tell you this about that uh our, our own aurelius nova she streamed it the other night she actually pl played the whole thing on stream um nice. there's like six six different endings uh she only did one obviously but she said this is her critique she said it wasn't nearly as scary as the demo she said maybe she has to do some other stuff, but she remembered being scared shitless during the demo. Yeah. And not quite feeling so scared then. Now I to be I did jump on that stream at the tail end. Mm -hmm. So I saw I saw like a little bit of the ending. Um and then we played a little bit of Fall Guys after. But uh so I I, I don't hundred percent know myself. I'm probably gonna get the game and try it out myself as well. Um Maybe it's because she was she knew it was gonna happen. I I don't know. I don't know. She said she wants to, to go through it again play like the other ways to play i think she actually got the worst ending i don't know <laughs> oh no <laughs> yeah. so i don't know so i don't know if that's any consolation to you but uh, i to, mean to, to get to get it going that's that's encouraging um but you know you know i have to have my buddy don there with me uh or our buddy don and um it's a good guy he, I don't, I don't know if you saw the stream, but um, when, <laughs> when he would try to make things scarier for me, like he would <laughs> pretend to see something that I didn't, <laughs> what or, is that? Or, or, or create noise from his end and me thinking that it was in the game. <laughs> it's like That's a motherfucker, funny. but but he he made things interesting and and. Uh, what was it? I don't know. Maybe it's because I have like a Catholic up upbringing, and Filipinos can be ha have the tendency to be very superstitious. But um, I don't know. I think some of that because it's you know it has demonic elements and spirits, and it's supernatural. Oh, it's, it's very demonic. And a, I can tell you that. And, <laughs> and it's just it kind of hits me in a way. Where I don't believe, but inside, deep down, I do believe. And it's just, it fucks with me in a whole new way. And plus, it's in a goddamn mortuary. <laughs> where we also have to try and be a mortuary's assistant. <laughs> the we have to try and do our job. Did I say that right? The Aswangs? As Aswang. Aswangs. Yeah, that's, the what, that's what Arwen's asking. I mean, there's this one, there's this one creature in the demo of the game that just, you know, pops up around the corner. You know, you know, what I'm talking about Stevie, like the the one that just like kind of appears yes. on the cabinet or or behind the. I know exactly what you're cabinets. talking about, and I was like, what the it, fuck am I talking? About? Yeah, I don't know if you saw the stream, but like, um, I, what I went into the cabinet to get one of the utensils um, that I thought <laughs> was in there, and I just happened to look up. That was when I practically fell off my chair and like screamed and had That's... to pause the game for the longest time. 
Because <laughs> it was just there staring at me. And like, I've seen other people's streams and, and recordings on YouTube. They didn't nearly, they didn't have that encounter. They encountered that one from across the room. It was right in front of my fucking face. It was like, yeah. It, I remember that thing, man. And, and it was on, you said it was on top, it was on top of a filing cabinet for me. Was that how it was for you? It was like a filing um, cabinet or something? Not the filing cabinet. It, it was the, it was the, um, it was the cabinet that, that had the, the glass windows and it had like all the, um, it had the utensils in there, like the, the okay. instruments. Yeah. I think that's where it was for me too. Yeah. That's freaking oh, okay. Freaking it really scared the shit out of me. That, that game yeah. made me jump more than I expected it to when I played the demo. Mm -hmm. and, and I was just like, I can't, like, what am I doing here? Uh, but it was a good time of God. I had fun. So I, I hope you, I nice. hope you play it soon and get the cards. I really do. I think it'd be yeah. Kind of fun no, like, since I've had since I've had time to think about it, because it has been living in my brain a little uh, every now and then, rent free. It kind of reminds me, and and I'm I'm not surprised that it it's as short as it is, because it, it kind of reminds me of like a supernatural escape room type simulator. True, that's true. Right? I love I fucking love escape rooms. Yeah. Yeah. I've I've never had to encounter I've never really done escape rooms oh, so at all. Fun. But um but I know of them. I've seen other people do them online, oh, so like man. Oh, that's so fun. I've done three so far. One of them was with my old job. We went as a crew. And like that one that one was there there's like the super professional branded one that I've been to twice. Like where it's just like it's the one that's kind of across the country. But this one was like kind of a local one, the first one I went to, and like they straight like it, it felt, I was in my element because it was very, the, depending on the story what you're doing. This one was like in a house, and it was very very Resident Evil E. So I was just like, let's fucking go. I was oh my god, I was ready. I was so like well and what they do is man they silently walk this one was very like intense because they silently walk you into a room and they they chain you up onto the fucking wall now they, they do no. tell you they do tell you ahead of time that if you get freaked out or anything like that they show you where the quick release is but the they say don't do that you got there's like locks you have to undo like they said but if you start to freak out get claustrophobic or something this is this is how you can easily remove them um so it, it the the fear is there, but it's also not because you know that, that that's there. But um, so you have to unchain and I, and there's like a clock that looks like the clock from fucking Saw counting down. And I'm just like Jesus. Uh, but I what I found really funny about the whole thing was that like, you know, you find all the stuff in the room, and in each each room we were in, there was like a newspaper, uh, and my people were just just like, oh, they're just telling us the story. I go. There is not, there's going to be nothing in this room that they give us that we're not supposed to use. I said, if it's like, like to me, it's like, if it's in the game and we put it in inventory, we're going to have to use it somewhere. I was like, if, if there's a fucking newspaper here, it's not just for us to read. It's for a reason. And the next room had another newspaper and they all want to leave behind. But you know what? Your boy, he took the newspapers. Okay. We figured out the, 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 the stuff in the other rooms and your boy took the newspapers. Okay. Third room, another newspaper. Okay, and then we go through that room, start doing the unlocking and shit. But then at the end, it's like, it's like, oh shit, we have to figure out all these codes. And it's like, it's like, and it was like this this, this weird thing where like all these numbers, but they are in sets of six twos. And I was like, maybe. Maybe if we put the dates on all these newspapers in there, it'll open. Mm. And it did. And I was like, ha, I better go fuck yourselves. And then I quit like six months later. Uh, no. <laughs> uh, so I haven't, I haven't been playing that much that I haven't streamed. I've been playing, um, uh, uh, Raft. We had yep. a lot of fun that the other night. And, um played what the hell 
Oh, Sunday I did a special stream. We played some more Trails in the Sky. Very good. Uh, I, on my own, I've been playing uh, Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And these motherfuckers in this Discord are about to get me to buy Xenoblade Chronicles 3. Like, I just see them on Twitter. And they're and they're like, oh, look at this cool video. And this is so fucking awesome that I did in the game. And they're yeah. on Discord. And they're like, oh, my God, this game is so fucking... It's like one of the best games I've ever played in my life. And, like, when I hear shit like that, it really makes me mad. Because then I have to go get the fucking game. Uh, and I'm not even... I'm like, I'm only halfway through Xenoblade Chronicles 2. And haven't even played Xenoblade Chronicles 1. <laughs> but here I am, like, hmm... <laughs> I got that Best Buy credit card. Because Xenoblade Chronicles 3 is at Best Buy. Hmm. And I'm just like... Got that case of the FOMOs. That's uh, true. I don't... Look, they're all... Ha exactly. And they're all having this fun. And I'm just thinking about all the stuff that I got backlogged. I'm going to add another one to it. But like... I, and then all the reviews are like... 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. 10 out of 10. I'm like... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> So I might I, I might be playing Xenoblade Chronicles 3 soon. I don't know. <laughs> uh, well, it's nice to know that you give in to peer pressure when it comes to video games. I, I do it all the time. You've seen it. You've seen it yourself. I, I do it. I I enable, too. You do! <laughs> this, this Xenoblade Chronicles thing is pretty much your fault. Mine? I was talking about gods of God of War. <laughs> I know, I know, I know. Oh, speaking of that, man, I have a dilemma. What? So, like, I'm trying to get to the point where, like, I'm playing the next big PlayStation release, right? Like, that's where I kind of want to be with PlayStation games. I want to be like, okay, well, this game's coming out. Like, I I've obviously missed the boat on Horizon Forbidden West because I still haven't fucking finished the expansion to Zero Dawn yet and the game's been out forever. It's still up there on the shelf. Like, I still haven't opened it. It's up there. So the question is, I haven't... I barely played God of War. So, after I finish Zero Dawn, do I just go ahead and play through God of War so I can get God of War Ragnarok when it comes out and stream that on release date? Or do I just say, fuck it and play Forbidden West? And skip God of War on stream. I would still play it off stream. And then just get Ragnarok. I'm in leaning towards God of War. Yeah, in my experience, uh, when I first started my channel, I was all in on the um, on um, the Lord of the Rings. Uh, what was it? It was the one to something Mordor. Oh, God. <sighs> it was the first There's... one. Oh, um... It's not Chronicles of Mord. Like, it's in my head. I just can't It's in my it. head. Um, Lord of the Rings. <sighs> Chat, help us out. Um, oh Mordor. It's not, I know it's not Game. Chronicles of Mordor. Game. There's two of them. Oh, it was, it was Middle Earth. Something. No, give me. Google, you are like. Shadow Majorly. of Mordor. Thank you. Mordor. Shadow of Mordor. Thank you, Chad. Google was, like, failing. Oh, because I had accidentally put map instead of game. What the fuck? <laughs> it was Middle Earth, Shadow of Mordor. That I played that game for, like, the longest time. Did all the side missions and everything. Got all my bounties. And then I went straight into... Um... War... Of Mordor or something? I, I went straight into the sequel and it just felt right. more of this. Yeah, it, it just went. It felt too much of. Um, it felt too similar to the game I had just played. Like, the there was like some new. Oh, Shadow of War. That's right. Uh, um, it, it was too much of the same and I wanted something different and I never finished. I like played for like maybe three hours of the sequel uh, of Shadow of War, and I just never got back to it, because um, I had my fill of hunting orcs and I wanted something new. So, and and I heard that, I mean, their mechanics were improved in um, Forbidden West, but you would be getting more of the same if you went straight into it. So I would say just go play the other game. Go play God of War. 
And then you if you and then if you want play Forbidden West right after. I think I'm going to start doing a longer weekend streams. I think I might stop doing Friday streams. Mm -hmm. And doing like longer Saturdays during the, during the day streams. I think I'm going to do that. I don't know. Anyway, okay, this is it. You know what I didn't put in here? Shit. I, you know what's not in the outline? What? Or, or the free games for the fucking, uh, for the month. I don't, I don't have any oh. of that information. I don't, I, I don't, man. I don't have any of the Xbox, any of the PlayStation information at all. I out In the outline. All right. Well, while, while you're while you're reading the uh, the new releases, I'll I'll try to find it really quickly. Um, but anyway, yeah. this is the part where I harass the YouTube folks, and and I have a bunch of them edited. Okay, I know I'm really behind. I had a really shitty time at work for a while. Okay, I'm really behind on the game reports, and I get that. But they're all being edited. Okay, uh, they should be all come out in the next few days, including this one right here. Okay, um, I had to like. Uh, it was just, I just had a lot going on. It was, really, it's my on-call shit. My on-call shit really knocks out my weekends if I get a lot of calls, and that's when I do a lot of my video editing, and uh, it just really fucks me up. I couldn't cut my grass or anything, because like, I was just like, I had that nervousness. Like, what are the phone rings? Uh, so, uh, yeah, so I cut my grass like literally during the week this week. And, uh, uh, yeah, so I'm off-call now, so that's good. So this weekend, and, and I did some... Uh, this week and this weekend I'm ready to go, so we should have a. There's actually going to be a bunch of videos popping out, Legend of uh, he Heroes playthroughs. Uh, I'm putting out some of the Wrath playthroughs. Like we're gonna, they're all going to be pumping out. So in case you're missing any streams, and you're watching this on YouTube because you missed this, you can watch this live at twitchtv Apologies every Wednesday at 9:30 p.m. Eastern, ish, where we talk about the video games. Um, okay, so. Uh, new releases coming out while I do some quick Google searches. What are the new releases? Okay, I'm gonna go really slow. <laughs> I already sent, sent you a link for the Xbox stuff anyway. Oh, nice. Um, let me get to the list. Okay, so coming out uh, on August 3rd, which is today as of um, streaming... South of the Circle comes out for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch. On August 4th, a whole bunch of games come out. Holy cow. Uh, Camp Canyon Wood comes out for Steam Early Access on the PC. Played Up for the PC as well. Hindsight for the PC, Switch, and iOS. Kokoro Clover Season 1 comes out for the PC and the Switch. Hard West 2 comes out for the PC. Thunderbolt Collection comes out for the PS4, PS5, PS Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch. And let's see, Turbo, bleh, Turbo Golf Racing comes out for early access and game preview on the PC, Xbox One, and Xbox Series X and S. On August 5th, Retreat to Enin comes out for the PC. On August 8th, Tyrant's Blessing comes out for the PC. August 9th, uh, Farthest Frontier for the Steam Early Access on the PC, as well as Two Point Campus for the PC, PS4, PS5, Xbox One, Xbox Series X and S, and the Switch. And that is what's coming out in the f this week through next nice. week until we have the other until we have the other game report that's right okay so our free games i found them quick thanks to you thanks to me we got it okay mm -hmm. so playstation actually has a bomb ass free game list this year i'm not look thank actually thank you jim ryan that this is an actual thank you jim ryan playstation oh. has a bomb ass list for free games this this week that bomb ass list Starts off with Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 cross-gen deluxe bundle for PS5 and PS4. Like, that alone makes it worth it, and I'll be downloading that shit, okay? And then, uh, also, Yakuza Like a Dragon on PS5 and PS4. Fucking amazing turn-based RPG. They don't make very many good turn-based RPGs anymore. That game is... Uh, so, like, that's fucking dope as well. And then... Little Nightmares. Like, that's if you haven't played that, that's that's like a fucking top-tier indie game. Like, mm. like let's go, man. Like, this is crazy. A lot of, I'm going to be downloading all three of these sons of bitches. 
All right, and I might even just I might even play Tony Hawk. So you know what? Thank you, Jim Ryan. Thank you. Thank you, Jim Ryan. Thank you. Uh, okay, so Xbox game was gold for August or Xbox games. Uh, Calico. Wait, Steven on Jim Ryan. What is this? What the, what is this shit? Okay, man. Okay, well, I'm just gonna show my center screen right now. Okay, man. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, man. <laughs> okay, that's enough out of you. Uh, <laughs> uh, all right, so Calico, August 1st through the 15th, uh, excuse me, through the 31st. Uh, uh, Scourge Bringer, August 16th through September 15th. Saints Row 2, a classic but a goodie. Uh, August 1 through 15th, but I feel like most people have played that by now if you're going to play it. And Monaco, What's Yours is Mine, August 16th through the 31st. Those are... Uh, okay, it's, I mean, it's... Um, mm -hmm. I mean, yeah. when you compare it to the PlayStation list, it's like, sh sh sit the fuck down. Sit it down. <laughs> sit it down. So, uh, yeah, this, this month... The winner is, ding, 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 PlayStation, without a shadow of a doubt. Okay. Uh, so, do, what do we have for game? We have we have Game Pass games, right? I think we have a list of Game Pass games coming out. That's right. Uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. So, August Game Pass releases. Wow, I didn't know this. Let's go. Ghost Recon Wildlands on console, cloud, and PC, August 2nd. Have you played that game? That game is fucking phenomenal. Wait, what was oh. it again? Ghost Recon Wildlands. It's so good. I have not. It's so good. It's it's very good. Um, August fourth, Shenzhen IO. I'm not sure what that is. It's only on PC. Uh, also on August fourth, Turbo Golf Racing, and that's for the Xbox Series X, S, Cloud, and PC. August 9th, Two Point Campus for console, cloud, and PC. August 11th, Cooking Simulator, console, cloud, and PC. Expedition Rome on PC. An off-world trading company on PC. In addition, the Game yeah. Pass lineup outweighs the removals in the first half of the month, but there are five games leaving on August 15th. Boyfriend uh, Dungeon. That's a travesty. Yeah. Boyfriend Dungeon. Uh. Curse of the Dead Gods. Library of Arena. Starmancer. And Train Sim World 2. Sorry, all you train fanatics. It's ch ch chugging out of here. What actual Kotaku headline? Game Pass loses one of its best games, gets Ubisoft's worst. I fucking Wait, hate where, Kotaku, man. Where did like, are you, you where serious? Did you read that? Is that that can't be true, Arwen? That can't. Uh, is it? There's no way that's true. Oh. There's there there's no way. Let me see this shit. It, oh, fucking god. This is one of its. Wait, what is, is what is that? What it is, actually is. Oh true. yeah, that is. Like, oh, I I knew it sounded familiar, but yes, yes, this is true. Um. <laughs> I do think losing Boyfriend Dungeon is a tragedy because I remember that when that, we talked about that game, it was super funny. Uh, I don't see it was, the game. Yeah. But like to say that that Ghost Recon. Wildlands is one of the worst Ubisoft games. You can literally go fuck yourself. Like, that is crazy. I love Wildlands. It is so good. Wildlands is, uh, Wildlands is like top tier open. Yeah, like, it, it, it is literally, Wildlands is a game that I go back to time and time again. I know I'm probably never going to beat it because it's so fucking big. <laughs> That's what she said. Uh, but... I just go in there, man, and I have such a good fucking time. I kill some some fucking bad guys with my sniper, and I send my boys in, and they be they take, taking shit out. And every once in a while, even uh, Aurelius' Shane jumps in with me, and he's helping me kill bitches. Like, yeah, it's drop-in, drop-out, co-op. Like, uh, 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 okay, I'm not okay. I, I'm literally speechless. I very few things leave me speeches. This fucking article leaves me speeches. It's fucking crazy. Okay, uh, this is just this is just clickbait. It's clickbait, so I'm not giving them any ad revenue. Even though I already clicked on that article, it's fine. Here's the 
even see it. You already clicked on it and you just like you talked about it. I know. Okay, you I'm sorry. It screen. <laughs> it's one of those things where I realized that I was that I was doing it after the fact. It's fine. It's okay. It's fine. Yeah, okay. We forgive you. <laughs> we forgive you, Stevie. Thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, this world needs more forgiveness. Um, <laughs> so let's get into the news, fam. Okay. Yeah. Let's talk about. You know what? I'm gonna let Christina talk about some uh, meta. What's going on with meta? Well, I don't know if this comes as a surprise to anyone, but meta. This is coming from Game Rant, written by Michael Brandon Ingram. Uh, meta is looking at another massive loss in quarter two financial report. Um, it reportedly lost just under three billion dollars. Oof. Oof. Oof, indeed. <laughs> It so it, it oh gosh uh, it Meta's rebranding from Facebook Inc last year was a bold move from social media giant shifting its focus towards the metaverse while Facebook remained operating under the same name the company rebranded its line of VR headsets to Meta Quest formerly known as Oculus which is Oculus is such as a cooler sounding name I know than Meta and it's Quest. like everybody fucking knows it like why did you do that. Exactly. It, the Metaverse initiative has not been without criticism from other members of the industry, as Apple previously railed against Facebook for its commission fees for creators on Meta. Yeah, I, I, we talked about it a long time ago as it happened, but I think it was yeah. like a 30% charge for creators to put their games on on the, on the Facebook's um, storefront for, for the, I'm going to say Oculus. <laughs> so it's, it's ridiculous. It's, it's it, w it was too high. I think they raised um, the price of that shit. Like, are you sorry. Yeah, it's um, alongside one of the largest social media platforms in Facebook, Meta also boasts one of the gaming in industry's most successful virtual reality devices. The Meta Quest and Meta Quest Two uh, became popular VR headsets with Steam integration alongside Meta's App Store. However. A recent announcement kind of tanked all of that when they hiked the price up to a hundred dollars or a hundred dollars more than its usual than its original MSRP, which is uh, I'll, I'll just say it again once, uh, which is fucking dumb. Um, I, I mean, it's, a, it's atrocious. I, I am, it's atrocious. It's dumb. Uh, alongside VR Division Reality Labs reported nearly 3 billion loss throughout the first quarter of 2022. The second quarter appears to have shown similar results. Good. Uh, the VR, yeah, the VR branch of Meta reportedly lost 2.8 billion throughout uh, Q2 of 2022, down only slightly from its losses in the, in the year's first quarter. Despite the clear losses throughout the second quarter, Meta continues to boast a 1.97 billion daily active users across its various types. A 3% increase from last year with over 3 billion users monthly. I Do people, do that many people actually own that many headsets? Or can you... This is just the VR branch of Meta. So I don't understand how there are that many units out that people can af afford this. I mean, I, I, are we talking worldwide? Maybe I don't, I don't know. I guess yeah, worldwide. I think. Um, that's a lot of that's a lot of VR heads up. It is. Um, but you know, Zuckerberg is just living in this out of touch. Like little bubble of his, and he he just <laughs> he keeps remaining positive about the trajectory trajectory about the company. He wants Meta to be this new social space that's gonna take off like Facebook. But but you know what though, it, it, everyone hates Facebook. We begrudgingly use it 
but we hate it as a company. I have well, no idea why Mark Zuckerberg thinks that we're going to embrace embrace Meta at the same level as we did Facebook when it first came out. Well, and also we like, have it. the the entrance to VR Meta is way different. When you're on Facebook, yeah. they, they fucking have us hook, line, and sinker because it's on our phones, it's on our computers, things that we're on daily anyway, right? A yeah. VR headset, you have to, like, be like, okay, let me charge my VR headset, let me put that bitch on, let me get in the game, let me do the thing. Uh, and a lot of gamers have fun in VR headsets, but they want to get behind a keyboard or some sticks, right? That's just how it goes. Yeah. They have some fun in VR. It's like the PSVR. I really like it. A lot of fun games. But, like, at the end of the day, most of the time, you're behind the sticks, behind the screen, not with a VR headset on. So the uh, the cost of entry, I guess, the like, uh, for people to do this and be here all the time is very high. Uh, and I just don't mm -hmm. think... Uh, and, and, and if you... Let's be honest. People are uh, inherently very lazy, Okay. So you got to make sure that's just charged. You got to go find it, grab it, you got to put it on your head. But like Facebook has a hook, line, and sinker with their apps because it's on our phones. We have the phones in our hands all the fucking time anyway, and so we're yeah. scrolling. So like, I just, I just don't think that like the it, until we're in a world where we're in VR headsets on a regular basis, this kind of thing is just not going to work out. Yeah, and I mean, and he really wants Meta to be like the next social platform that facebook is now and but but the thing is all of us would have to have those vr headsets which we're clearly not going to do yeah and they're way um, overpriced they're way overpriced especially now um we you're talking to a gener like a, an entire generation that prefers text we we avoid phone calls for a reason we just want to text each other I get anxiety, like my whole fucking job is to answer a phone. And I get anxiety every time I hear a ring. <laughs> I just want people to either email me at work because I don't do any email personal. Uh, and, and I, I just, you have my number, text me on my phone. Just don't call me, just text me. And he, he wants us to interact and talk does he me. not know what people do when they when they're given a microphone and anonymity it's a fucking nightmare all of us know this from like call of duty and um all these other shooter games that allow open mic and, and like gamers talking to other gamers do you know how much facebook is already a garbage dumpster fire if you get the general public in there, it's going to get even worse. <laughs> oh, no. True. No, not. Stop it, Zuckerberg. Just just go away. Retire get, again, please. Get, get fucked, Zuck. Uh, that about sums it up, yeah, man. We're, uh, that's, we're, it's just not going to happen. Uh, and keep no. losing money, bitch. Uh, okay. <laughs> so uh, Zuckerberg clearly has never used Facebook nor played COD. Uh, I'm pretty sure... Zuckerberg is not human. I'm pretty sure that he's like from the future and sent back in time to end us all. <laughs> uh, hello, fellow nerds. Hello, Mac. Good to see you. Hello. Man. I was just talking about you and your fucking Xenoblade Chronicles 3 post on, on Twitter making me want to go get the game right now instead of finishing Xenoblade Chronicles 2 like a good gamer should. Anyway. Resist. Resist. That's probably not going to happen. I'm probably, as soon as this stream's over, I'm probably going to set <laughs> for, you know, for pickup tomorrow. Okay. But there's a new policy at Twitch. What's going on? It's not really a policy. It's it's more like a lack of policy. Sorry, so, TwitchCon, not Twitch. Sorry, TwitchCon. I misspoke. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So so TwitchCon is coming, um, which you know conventions have been have been coming back this year. Uh, but you should be very wary of TwitchCon right now because as of this week. They have no policy on vaccine requirements, no testing requirements, no mask rules, like none. And we're still very much just trying to just claw our way out of a pandemic. And um, 
So I'm just going to read it here. Uh, this comes from Kotaku and Luke Plunkett. TwitchCon will be making or will be taking place in San Diego between October 7th and the 9th. And if you had any thoughts about attending whatsoever, uh, know that the organizers are under the assumption that we're living in 2019 and not 2022 and that you're very much going to take your personal safety into your own hands. Um, they, let's see, let's see. Uh, on the health measures a portion of TwitchCon's website, um, they say, we're constantly reviewing our health and safety guidelines along with local authorities. In accordance with current local guidelines, there will be no COVID-19 vaccination or testing requirements at TwitchCon San Diego. Although masks are encouraged, they will not currently, or they are not currently required to attend TwitchCon. Uh, please ensure you are comfortable with your own current health and safety measures before you purchase your ticket to TwitchCon. So, here's the thing. San Diego Comic-Con happened not too long ago, right? There... Yeah, like last week. Yeah. There were tons, tons of COVID cases after that event. I, uh, I and that... Actually and they had... Happen. They had... A very strict um, health measures like everyone had to have a mask everyone needed to be tested everyone had to have you know like proof that they've been vaccinated and, uh, and or boosted um, and yet yeah, people who attended those cons were still exposed to COVID uh, because you know you know either people didn't know they had it or they tested negative when they were actually a carrier or you know, people just nasty or lie. Just everything under the sun probably happened at San Diego Comic Con. Just think, with no guidelines as of right now, they're they're just they're doing um, carte blanche on whatever the city is doing, which you know they don't have anything. Like they're following the health measures San, Di uh, San Diego has right now, which is not a whole lot. It's pretty much the same guidelines TwitchCon announced already. Um, just think how many people who don't wash their hands, who who like cough on other people, don't have great hygiene, just think how much worse it would spread in such a tinderbox like that. No, I agree. Um, uh, so California is actually recording 50,000 new cases a day. Yeah. Jesus. Yeah. I mean, California is very big, to be fair, but, like, Jesus. Uh, even uh, uh, George R. R. Martin, it says here, uh, got COVID at mm -hmm. San Diego Comic-Con. So even even he himself, uh, even the RRs are, uh, are subject to, to COVID. Uh, look, I don't think this is that, that difficult of a thing, man. Like, this is... Fucking copy and paste of what you're. Yeah, I don't know. Like I, this is. I don't know. Look, okay, so you gotta. We gotta look at the silver lining. You ready for the silver lining? And this is what the silver lining is. Okay. Sure. This is the silver lining. Okay. So TwitchCon happens, right? Mm -hmm. Fuck ton of streamers go to TwitchCon, right? COVID outbreak. I see they where you're little, going with this. They get a little sicky sick, right? We don't want any of them to die. No. They get a little. They get a little sicky sick. Sick enough. To not be able to stream. We who did not go, we start streaming. Our numbers oh, shoot God. up because those guys. <laughs> God, Stevie! <laughs> <laughs> Obviously, for those, most of you probably know this, but I'm definitely just kidding. Um, everybody should be safe with this shit. Everybody should have their own fucking uh, take their own health in, into uh, their own hands. But, you know, sometimes they should drop yeah. down rules. I mean, so, yeah, drop down rules. I mean, 2019. Even if it's just like requiring a mask. Yeah, even, even if it's just that, just like the bare minimum. This isn't even the bare minimum. This is just nothing. And <laughs> and what, what was it? Even before, you know, 2020 happened, 
We all got the con crud. Any any event that we went to, con That's crud so happened. That's so fucking true. Like you just come home and you're like, <laughs> you like start pooping blood and stuff. No, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. <laughs> no, I'm just kidding. I, no. I remember my very first uh, entry into New York Comic Con. I did as best I could to, you know, to be hygienic and everything. But I, the last day that I had to, you know, be like salesperson because I was doing, I was in the, um, I was in the vendor booth. Um, I had the worst flu, and. Oh. I didn't realize it was the flu until much later when, like, when the event was done and I just, like, immediately knocked out and, like, or passed out in the car. And it was like, <laughs> and everyone was like, what's That's... going on with you? It's like, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I'm dying. <laughs> like, like, I'm dying. But, yeah. yeah. No. I, went, I went to SC Comic Con, uh, I think it was in March-ish time frame. I just got annoyed. Mm -hmm. By people not respecting this, like I'm not asking everyone to be six feet apart from me, right? At a con, cons are crazy. I, I, I'm not asking that. All I'm asking is that you don't fucking breathe on me while we're both waiting in line to buy something. These, like, I was just like, you weren't so fucking close to me, and like, s stop, like. Ugh. I mean, to be fair, I'd probably be annoyed about that COVID outbreak or not. But, like, yeah. it, considering the times, like, back the fuck up, man. Like, God, it's yeah. like, get, I, I just remember dealing with and have, I'm just, like, moving around constantly because people kept getting so close to me. And I'm just like, yeah. it's time it's time to stop. But it is what it is. They, they, we'll, we'll see what happens, man. Uh, you know, hopefully there's no outbreak. Uh, but <laughs> let's be real. There's going to be a lot of streamers not streaming the week after. Uh, <laughs> okay. Um, <laughs> oh, I wish Trex was here for this, but he's not, so I'll take this one. All right. <laughs> Diablo Immortal hits 30 million players, estimated to rack in over $100 million. $100 million. I, I don't know. That's not a... what. I can't even do my doctor your voice. Like I'm sorry, everybody. Okay. One hundred million dollars. That's good. Can we can't. clip that so I can add that sound clip? I'd appreciate that, you guys. Uh, the, <laughs> the the microtransaction did. Okay, so this is from Rick Stin over at PCGamer.com. Diablo Immortal has sparked controversy. <laughs> I guess I, there should be a, a word for like something angrier than just controversy uh among oh god uh among elements of blizzard's audience ever since it was first announced the monetization model sparked a brutal backlash just because it's toxic as fuck uh stopped it being released in belgium and the netherlands like there's countries refusing to release it because their uh stores are so fucking toxic uh and blizzard had a rush out of promise that diablo 4 won't be monetized the same way uh, I'm impressed to ask for doubt on that one. Uh, but thing is, Diablo Immortal sure seems to have made some people happy. The last stat Blizzard provided on the game was that it had been downloaded by over 50 million players in two weeks, earning around 24 million. I honestly, I'm going to be real with you guys, I did download it, but I, and this is the God honest truth, I still haven't played it. Like, I, I just downloaded it because everyone was like playing and playing it. And I was like, oh, I gotta give it a try. And I just, I, I can't find time. If I'm on my phone, I'm playing Marvel Future Revolution. That's my, uh, that's my go to, uh, gotcha game. Uh, Two months since launch, the game now boasts over 30 million players. The player numbers are coming from an official channel, but mobile market analyst Sensor Tower has also just published a report about the game's success, in which it estimates the title has now wrecked in over $100 million globally. Sensor Tower's data is generally accurate, but figures like this acts extrapolatingly. I can't speak words. Extrapolating. That, thank you. Uh, from, from public information and sample sets of users, so bear that in mind. These figures will also have received a massive boost from the game's Chinese launch on July 25th, where it was instantly shot to the top of download charts. Whatever the precise stats, I don't know why I couldn't think of that word, I'm sorry, there's no doubting that Diablo Immortal has a lot of players and is making a lot of money. The game is a hit. Oh, okay, okay, Blizzard president yes. Mike Yarbar recently went to bat for the game, saying that the criticism was not reflective of wider reaction. 
something that the figures would seem to back up. When we think about monetization at the very highest levels, it was how do we give a free dabble experience to hundreds of millions of people where they can literally do 99.5% of everything in the game, says Yarbrough. The monetization comes in at the end of the game. The philosophy was always to lead with great gameplay and make sure that hundreds of millions of people can go through the whole campaign without any cost. From that standpoint, I feel really good about it as an introduction to Diablo. Blizzard says the vast majority of players haven't spent money in the game and that 50% of immortal players are new to Blizzard. Um, but I mean, then you got this Jagoff who spends 100k on Diablo Immortal. He literally spends that much to pay to win, and then he can't... He, he essentially buys himself out of being able to play the game because it's, it's... the matching system... The matching system... Like, he's too powerful that the matching system can't pair him up with anyone to compete with. I... I just think that it's it's very disingenuous for... I understand why he did it, because he kind of has to, for Yabber to come out and say something like this. Like, if you really look in Diablo, into Diablo Immortal and its monetization fees and how it all works, it literally has the worst practices of every single different type of monetization game that's out there. So like they put them the best of the worst monetization tactics in this fucking game. It's absolutely ludicrous. Uh, just for fun, I think I watched a little bit of Asmongold play it, and he was like, every, like every time something popped up for him to buy, he bought it. And he and he kept track of how much money he spent, and it was ludicrous. Like, uh, and it was it was kind of like a farce, like an Andy Kaufman thing, because he was talking about how much he loves it and things like that. But like everybody knew he didn't actually love it, and he was trying to show everyone like how absolutely ludicrous it was. And he only played it for for a week, and then or I think it was a couple of weeks, and just stopped because of how ridiculous it is. And uh, I, I think defending this is, is kind of crazy, but I also think that the general public. Uh, if, I, if, you know, there's people like us that do this show, and people like you guys that watch us, we're kind of all in, 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 you know, we got our finger on the pulse of the gaming world, right? There's a lot of people, a good majority of people, uh, we're just a tiny percent of these people that just see Diablo as an app, and they go, oh shit, there's a Diablo game on the App Store, I saw a Diablo game release, and they download it, and they play it, and they're like, oh, I'm not really going to buy anything, and it's probably true, they don't. But then you just you just have these fucking whales out there that get exploited, and it's just it's fucking crazy, and and you know what there's there is no stopping this there's no stopping it whatsoever, because people are gonna spend money on it and that's that it's just how it's gonna happen, like it's just like uh, uh like it's just it's just never gonna stop I don't know I'm sorry my brain jumbled there because. There are going to be whales out there, and they're going to spend the money, and they're going to make the money, so they're going to keep doing it, regardless of the public opinion of the situation. Um, so until we, as gamers, stop doing it, they're going to keep doing it, and we're not going to stop, so what the fuck? Yeah. No. So, <laughs> yeah, so <laughs> what you mentioned, uh, it'll kind of lead right into that, is there is a... Uh, you brought up the Diablo Immortal player that spent a hundred thousand on a game. Now can't find anyone suitable to match make with. First off, spending a hundred k on the game. Whew. Okay. Uh, yeah. so, this is crazy. Uh, so uh, this is from Eurogamer uh, by Victoria Kennedy. Uh, we appreciate the article. Uh, Blizzard. Okay. So in a new video, uh, Jay, it's all business has revealed the developer. Okay. Oh, sorry. Uh, well, we a fix for the issue for this like monetization thing. Um, I'll read the up. There's an update to the page. I'll read that when we're done. Uh, Blizzard did reach out to me. Uh, they uh, J, J wait, J tits all business. Ah, I'm not, I, okay, I'm trying. J T is all business. Oh, I figured it out. Boom. You got it. You got I it. I figured out. But before saying that a Blizzard representative told him the company had approved a fix which will be implemented in the next coming days. Uh, I can't wait to see how the new system works. Hopefully it's designed in a better way, they added. Uh, JT is all business, acknowledged that the attention from the media and gaming community around his spending in Diablo Immortal helped get the situation resolved, which is fucking terrible. Yeah. That is, it just doesn't make any sense. Uh, I really, go ahead. So, sorry. So to, to keep, um, to put this in perspective, this guy spent 100k on a game that came out June 2nd. He 
he blew that much money in two months. Insane. Yeah, yeah. So he actually oh. tried to get a refund because he was like, "I spent all this money, and now there's no one to." My matchmaking record is so high that no one, no one, I can't, I can't get paired with anybody. Get fucked, right? so, Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, in a video, the streamer even admitted that they are considering calling in lawyers to help ra rather unique situation. Uh, I can't do things that I spent money on the characters to do, and I have no time frame of when things are going to actually be fixed. Or even now, if things are going to be fixed because I'm the only player in the entire world with this problem. Jesus, man. Okay. I mean, what did you expect was going to happen when you bought all the power-ups? Like, did you real? Did this guy really think that... A ton of people who play Diablo Immortal would spend 100k in two months to be just no. as powerful as he is? No. Fuck no. No, because of a vast majority, according to Yarbo, of players who are not spending any money within the game. That's fu Okay. Just, uh... Uh, I, 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 I don't know, like, so the, the biggest update is Blizzard has responded to the Diablo Immortal player who found themselves unable to get into the battle. Okay, so this was the update. Oh, the whole thing was the update. I'm sorry. I kind of yeah. fucked this up a little bit by reading it backwards. I apologize, everybody. Uh, <laughs> uh, but, yeah. a, 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 they, so they reached out and said, well, we're going to implement a fix. What's, what's the fix for that, though? Like, I, I don't know. I don't know. He... Uh, well, he um, he was after a legendary gem, and when this was first reported, I believe he didn't get it. Um, for whatever reason, I didn't read it too much into that because my brain couldn't process anything else after the statement. He spent a hundred k on a damn mobile game. <laughs> I mean, his character does look badass, so I'm not even going to lie about it. Like, I mean, it does, but it's not worth 100k. I'm just saying, if you're going to spend 100k, like, it does look fucking badass. So I'm just saying. Put a, put, put a down payment on a house. That's more than enough of a down payment on a house if he doesn't <laughs> buy live a whole in a house fucking already. house. Yeah. Buy a whole fucking house. Jesus. Um, I don't know this streamer or what his analytics are like or anything like that, but. I hope I hope that he just didn't just blow it all. <laughs> it's like it is what it is, man. It is what it is, it man. It is what it is. He's gonna He's lose crazy. that that court case because it's gonna get thrown right the fuck out. So uh, 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 good luck, buddy. I hope that you can find people to play with. <laughs> I, I guess. <laughs> I guess I don't know. I I, mean, I hear Asmongold's free. <laughs> <laughs> you know, know, or you know, like delete your account and start a new one. Just don't. Then move. you'll have people to play with. <laughs> Just <laughs> don't move to Indonesia and try to play this on Steam. Why is that? Oh, because Indonesia blocked access to Steam and Epic Games. Oh shit! Uh, Yo. Yeah. The Indonesian government banned several major major um, digital doorfronts like Steam and Epic Games. Uh, and this is uh, an IGN Southeast Asia article by Adrian Lai. Um, this was a move that could prevent millions of gamers from accessing their game libraries. Uh, because, you know, we don't, we don't download all of our games all at once. We just let it sit there in, in the cloud and in our in our accounts. Uh, this comes after the enactment of a new law in Indonesia that requires online platforms and services to apply for a permit to continue operating in the country. Local and foreign tech companies that fail to comply risk having their online services blocked. Um, in a tweet by Daniel Ahmad, uh, companies that failed to register with uh, ComInfo are now being blocked in Indonesia. This includes services such as Steam, Epic Games, PayPal, and etc. Um, let's see. So even PayPal. Uh, according to the Indonesian Communication Damn. and Information, yeah, an in Information Technology Ministry, um, in short, it's Cominfo, uh, it received a total of 8,680 domestic Don 
um, domestic done. I think that's their currency. Um, 282 foreign permit applications as of uh, July 29th. However, several major online services, including Steam, Epic, Epic Games, um, Battle.net, Ubisoft, EA, Nintendo, and Origin, all failed to apply for the permits before the deadline. It's unclear whether access to services like Steam and Epic Games would be reinstated if they are registered with Cominfo in the future. I mean, why would you do that? Millions of Indonesian gamers received a bad start to their day after failing to access their game libraries. On social media, people are advising each other to circumvent this by changing their DNS or by using a VPN. <laughs> I mean... Why... Why would you all not... Sign a thing? Uh, like, there, there aren't any details on... On, like, the... Stipulations on what common foe... Uh, on what you would have to do if you signed... This, um... Uh, permit? Or, like, what even the price is. But... It just... It blows my mind that... No... Like, none of the major companies, mostly American, obviously, um, and just European... just forgot to sign up. <laughs> Shut up, man. Just, like, forgot to sign up. Yeah. I wish we had okay. NordVPN as a sponsor, because this would be a great time to bring them up. <laughs> sign up with NordVPN. If you're in sponsor Indonesia, us, please. so you can get on Steam. Yeah. <laughs> I, I don't know. I, I don't know how it works. Maybe maybe they can't. Maybe it's like blocked. Maybe they it's like so. I, I mean, I don't, I don't know. I don't know either. It's um. It's it's one of those things where foreign companies don't want to play by the rules in other countries, even though they want to make billions of monies. I feel I bad think it's for a the strong arm tactic. It, it might be. I wonder if they have to pay like ludicrous amounts of money. A few days oh, later, it's... Indonesia bans VPN. <laughs> True. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, that that. I mean, uh, that's ter terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Poor gamers, and you know, the the ones who truly suffer are the people who put money into the games that they can now no longer access. Rest so. in peace, Marvel heroes. <laughs> I mean, you couldn't give me just an offline version to play. You just I mean, all the money I spent on that fucking game, and like, that's it. I just can't play it no more. Yeah, bullshit, that's stupid. Man. Um, I bought the ca cable is one of my favorite mutants. I bought the whole pack with cable. Had all his costumes. I just like. Whoa. I'm a I'm a big fan of time travel stuff, and I just like the idea of Cable's character and who he is and stuff. I just really like that character. And uh, and I just think it's fucked up, man. And like he's like this hard, gritty dude, and then he's like, he's got hope, <laughs> you know. So he's got. I just like the dichotomy of him and Hope running around. Hope Summers, like I just think it's. It's true, yeah. I just I just really like that. I like that. I like. I just think it's cool. Um, but I I I, 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 I won't ever play him in that game again. Cause fuck me, <laughs> no. that's why. Um, yep. Okay, yep. so quick question. I'm going to break the fourth wall here and talk about our outline. I think that the, Diablo, the other Diablo Immortal article here is, is a little out of date because I think it has released in China. Because this was, this was about 30 days ago. Uh, 30. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Never mind. Yeah. I, I think in our previous in articles, it, it did talk about uh, China uh, releasing in China. So, yeah. Um, all right, but we will continue to talk about Blizzard Gang. We get, I gave a little filler there but we're back on blizzard baby uh <laughs> we're right back at it uh so this is from bloomberg uh by zephing hong hope i said that right and jason schweig a friend of the show jason schweig uh blizzard netscape scrap war warcraft mobile game after you financial. mean NetEase? what did i say you what said netscape I said Netscape. Oh man, I, that's yeah. my age. That's my age showing. <laughs> Love you, kid. That's that's my age showing, man. Oh my God, I said Netscape. You Ooh. did. Oh, God, 
Mid 30s, here I come. Okay, I'm gonna start this over. Blizzard, NetEase, scrap Warcraft mobile game after finan financing dispute. I was close. I fucked up financing, but it's fine. Um, that's so. Can you not download the game anymore? Is it like, is Warcraft uh, mobile it's... just gone? Hold on, I'm gonna. Find I out. mean, maybe. So according to this article. Um, both companies have torpedoed a World of Warcraft smartphone game that had been in development for three years. So, yes. <laughs> it's, oh, shit. It's... I actually can't. I thought you could download this. Um, so, what happens if you see. have it downloaded? I'm confused as fuck. I don't know. So, so NetEase disbanded a team of more than 100 developers tasked with creating content for the title, only some of whom were offered internal transfers... Uh, people familiar with, um, or said people with the, familiar with the matter. The two companies disagreed over terms and ultimately called a halt to the project, which had been kept under wraps, um, asking, or, which had been kept under wraps. So a lot of these sources have, um, asked to not be identified because it's mostly private information, um, and they probably are still under NDAs. But um, the decision casts uncertainty over Blizzard's partnership with China's number two gaming giant, which is NetEase, and uh, which affords the U.S. studio a valuable window into the world's biggest mobile market. Um, Hangzhou-based NetEase publishes World of Warcraft and other Blizzard franchises in the country uh, and is also a co-creator of the recently released Diablo Immortal. God, we can't get rid of this game right now, uh, which is on track to become a commercial success, despite criticisms. Um, the now-canceled title, codenamed Neptune, was envisioned as a massively multiplayer online role-playing game set in the same universe as World of Warcraft. It wouldn't okay, be a direct... So this isn't well. Warcraft Arclight Rumble. This, this, this game is not mm -hmm. out yet. This game no, is not out yet. No, this okay. game hasn't even been released yet. Okay, so okay, so that's what I thought we were dealing with here. I was like, this game. Okay, I'm glad we cleared it up for me. <laughs> I'm sure everybody <laughs> already knew that, but I was really confused. I was like, you can't. Play okay, sorry. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Yeah, no, no, no. Um, it wouldn't be a direct translation of the popular online game, but a spin-off set during a uh, different time period. The spokesperson for NetEase declined to comment, uh, and so did Activision Blizzard. Um. See, Activision Blizzard's foray into mobile was one of the driving factors behind Microsoft Corp's $69 billion acquisition of the gaming powerhouse, which <laughs> nice. has faced allegations of sexism. Uh, oh, that's don't not we nice. all remember that? <laughs> so, in May, the Blizzard subsidiary unveiled an upcoming mobile game set in the World uh, Warcraft universe, a strategy title called. Arc like rumble that resembles, you know, supercell yeah. always. That's what you were talking about. Yes. Um. But yet, uh, Blizzard's mobile initiatives, their other ones, have not all been successful. Um, they also canceled another Warcraft-based project, an augmented reality game similar to Pokemon Go. Oh. Um. Yeah, and that game was codenamed Orbis. And it, it was in development for more than four years. So they're shit canning a whole lot of stuff. You know um, what sucks? Is that I probably would have played this game. Yeah. I probably well, played. I don't know how popular AR games are after the whole Pokemon trend kind of died down a little bit. It's still going strong. But, you know, Niantic tried to um, replicate that success with with Harry, with the Harry Potter franchise, and it did not do well. No. The Jurassic Park one seems to be fairly popular, but. Well, I've never heard of that one. I don't know do if it's one? made. I don't know if it's made by them or not. I just know it won't exist because I've seen already play it with her daughter. Oh, I uh, see. Yeah, I just know it exists. It puts dinosaurs in front. You can catch them and shit. Um, okay, so no, the not not the R game, but I would have definitely played the. The game they're describing here, like an MMO in a different universe, that you play on your phone, I would have definitely played that shit. I would definitely. I mean, that I shit. wouldn't have, but I'm glad to know that there were people who were interested. 
<laughs> I, 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 I would bet money that Trex probably would be inter would play it too. Of course he would. He plays everything on the phone. On his Samsung Galaxy <laughs> Flip 3. Oh. Okay. See how it flips? <laughs> yes. I'm about to... Never mind. Uh, yeah. Okay, I'm about to flip my desk over. So, okay. Now to the bread and butter an hour later. Let's talk about what we're all here for. Today, yeah. there was a, a home machete. Hold on. Jurassic Park, F and F. Uh, so I hear Harry Potter knows. Okay. Um, oh, FNAF? As in oh, Five Nights at Freddy's? Freddy's? Oh, that's cool. Oh, for like AR games? Cool. All right. So for the bread and butter, what we're all here for, what came out today? Today, there was a little Pokemon Direct okay, from Nintendo. And there was some shit in the beginning about their mobile games of Pokemon Go. Trek seemed to care a little bit about Pokemon Unite. They just announced a new Pokemon, some new game modes, things like that. But the big thing was we got a lot of new details and a new trailer for Pokemon Scarlet and Violet. Okay? So, there's a lot to unpack with what we got. Okay? Some of it good. Some of it's a bit it, weird. We, I don't want to say bad yet. I do not want to say bad yet. And I'm not going to say bad yet. I'm just going to say weird. But I'll say more good, though. Okay. We got, well, first we got, I'm going gonna, gonna to go ahead and uh, pop this. We got, a, we got a better look. Am I saying this right? The Paladia region? I don't know if I'm saying that right. I think it's the Paladia region. Paladia? I. I honestly, when they, um, I think it's Paldea, but I honestly wasn't paying attention to how they pronounced it. <laughs> I was just like, what the hell am I looking at here? Because there are a lot of weird stuff going on in the Pokemon world right now. It, with yeah, this you new said series. it right, Stevie? Okay, yeah. Uh, there, there is like... Trying There's to a lot. Words. Well, I mean, it's it wasn't necessarily bad. And I, I'm not going to say it was bad at all. Because I, I don't really think it was that bad. Yeah. Uh, okay, Let so me... here's here's the here's the um, the thing that caught everyone's eye. You're riding a couple of Pokemon like they're bikes. And like um, they they have living they have living bikes. <laughs> right? Like, they have wheels that are alive. Yeah. And apparently these are the legendaries for the game. Um, I don't know how early on you get them. If they're supposed to be a utility that you need for an open world Pokemon game like this. But, um... And, and they're uh, also... Who knows? Designed... Mac, I'm going to go to your Twitter. I hope you don't mind. Because you're you're where I saw this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna go to your Twitter so I can show this. Grassy. Okay. Oh, is All this right. what you shared earlier? Yeah. Okay. Okay. Here we go. Can I ask y'all a question? What? What the fuck is the point? <laughs> what is the point of having the wheels? <laughs> If we're just oh, gonna run, oh, it's actually using the legs. If what? I the, thought it was just this. This actually doesn't make any sense to me. I thought the wheels were moving. No, it's literally running with its feet. But why? Why have the wheels then? Yeah, why can't you just make it a standard mount? What is? What the fuck is up with the wheels? I really don't understand what's going on here. <laughs> uh, I guess maybe this doesn't go as fast or something. We don't really know. Uh, wait, riding Pokemon like the old Pokemon games? Run? Uh, yes, no. It's like actually riding. It's like riding Pokemon like you do in Pokemon Arceus. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, why Why the wheels if they run like the old games? It, it, I don't really understand this. Now, to be fair, in the trailer... Uh, they also, they also took flight, okay? Um, they also flew around with what looked like to be jet engines. Uh, mm -hmm. 
and, and gliding in there. One of them looked like they actually had wings with jet engines. So I was like, okay, well, at least they have wings. Um, yeah. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna keep it playing. Down. I'm just gonna put it on a loop down here at the bottom while we talk about it. Um, yeah, do <laughs> please do. <laughs> yeah, hold on. I gotta I gotta do I gotta move some stuff over real quick. Hold on. Um, but, um, uh, sorry, I gotta. I'm trying to move my articles away from the screen so I can still see it and, and talk to you guys uh, and play this video at the same time. Um, okay, here it is. Pokemon. Okay, I'm just gonna do the actual trailer here. Uh, we're gonna mute it. Oh yeah, run the just, actual trailer because the trailer doesn't actually tell us anything. No. Okay, so uh, um, okay, where are they at? <laughs> Least Latios and Latios. Uh, I I. Are you saying the names? Uh, Latios and Latias. Latios. Uh, Something like um, that. So, I do. So here, some great things came from this. Okay. Four player yeah. co op, okay, which is fucking crazy. See, they almost look robotic there. In this, oh, so let me let me run the trailer. Like it, when they when they when they zoom in on these guys, like they look robotic to me. Mm -hmm. oh, hold on, let me. There you so, go. so what they run out in the field, but they you can use them as as wheels when you're in a city. What? I, none of it makes sense. So, see, like, does, doesn't this look like a fucking robot? I Like, this looks like that, a robot to me. That one does, yeah. Uh, so, I, I don't know. I guess the other one doesn't really, right? This one, okay, that one does, the other one doesn't, okay. Uh, but they had their cyber eyes, yeah, they, well, I guess, I don't know. This, yeah, the second one looks cyberized. So, it's... Full open world, which is fucking cool. And they said oh. there's going to be three major storylines throughout the game. Uh, two of them they didn't really talk about. They're like story. Man, when he pulled up to the fucking gas station, I was like, is it really? Is it a gas station? Mm -hmm. uh, <laughs> uh, is it a fucking gas station? Uh, uh, anyway, so one of the main stories is, of course, the Pokemon badges going to fight the gym leaders getting your badges and going to fight the elite four right like so yeah. so sweet that's what we all want in our pokemon games right um which i think is really cool um and it's and they said that it's not linear like before because you know when you, every other pokemon game you play when you're dealing with, with with gyms or what have you you have a you have you have a specific one you have to go through each time that's not the case here like you can go to any gym Whatever you want, and f and get the badges in any order. I think that's cool too. Yeah. Uh, powered by Poco fossil fuels. Okay, man. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Oh, no! Oh, oh my God. Uh, I can't even. So. Uh, I still did. Had they go? Did they go over how you catch Pokemon? Can you catch them like you can, in. Pokemon in Arceus. Arceus? Yeah. No. You uh, actually have to mechanic. do the battles, but they yeah, but you it's... can see. So they, but you can. They're on the open world, right? Yeah, you can see them. It, it's pretty much um, the same way you did it before Arceus came out. So you still have to battle them, weaken them, or whatever, and um, and then capture them. So it's the old mechanic um, as before. But okay. now we also get to gemify our our Pokemon. Right, I'm gonna go back to that. Yeah. So the, uh, what's the official term for this? The the. Oh God, it's called terrestalizing. Nice. Let's get. Uh, I don't really know what this does. I'm sure it helps you out. But uh, to be fair, every new Pokemon game that comes out has something like this. Depending, like it, it's, just, it's just they just do. Which is fine to me. Like I, I don't mind. Like it's, it is what it is. Um, they always—I I don't want to say gimmick. They always have like a special trait about them, like the games all do. So I—I uh, I, I don't mind this at all. I don't—I don't think that it's like. It doesn't make me go, oh shit, let's go, let's crystal those Pokemon. Like it's—it's—it's uh, it's, it's cool, but you know, uh, Mega evolving 
to me was the mecha, man. When you fucking like mega evolve like Charizard and Blastoise yeah. and shit, that was fucking amazing. Um, that was that was a fun one. I liked that one. But yes, I, it kind of makes too. you it kind of makes you wonder what the fuck is going on in each region to have such special yeah, um that's true. evolutions like this. Yes. They are straight just riding these bitches like motorcycles. See, I, see, he's running there. When they go through the city, they... I, I don't I don't know, man. I, I'm, I'm not even going to try to figure this out. I'm just waiting for the game to come out. Obviously, I'm getting getting it. There's too much to like than there is to be weirded out about. Uh, yeah. Machete puts a whole new spin on the term shiny Pokemon exactly. Um, yeah. I, I really so like... I, was... I think think they went above and beyond with the sets and the layouts and the map and shit like that. Like, I, it's, it's, I, I actually have the map. I'm going to pull the map up. Go ahead. Go ahead. I'm sorry. Oh, so... Um, I, I don't know if you've noticed, but Trex is in here with us tonight. But oh, you, are did. you going to do it? Let's do it. Oh, yeah. Oh, totally. Um, so Trex had a few words about what he saw, because when I posted this a couple hours ago in our private chat, uh, this was his first time seeing it. Um, <laughs> and and so he, he channeled his inner Trex oh, and was... God. And just like had had some things to say, so here Toxic we go. Tricks. Toxic tricks. Hang on, <laughs> let me go. <laughs> you have to get out your Samsung phone too. <laughs> <laughs> so like, so here we go. Here we go. Here's what he had to say. The fuck you mean? The legendaries <laughs> are rideable. You mean their throat thingy isn't their isn't where their power is? It's a goddamn big wheel. <laughs> also, how less legendary do these Pokemon have to feel? You think Entei had a whole movie to show his power, then turn around and see his kin type riding us around carrying groceries? We all wanted to ride our Pokemon, but we didn't mean for them to be a bastardized transformer. What are you doing, Game Freak? And don't think we didn't see your pooper whooper. Okay. I've never, never been so made, he meant mad, at a Pokemon during, doing blackface. Have respect for Jinxes out there. What's he? Th oh, he's talking about that picture he put in the chat. Hold he's, on. I'm, he's I'll talking about the, the, the whooper that looks like. It should have been a Cubone. <laughs> Hold on a minute. I'm gonna pull. I'm gonna pull it up. Too. Yeah, bring he was, that one he up. Was so mad. Yeah, he, he put it in the chat and was like, "What the fuck is this?" <laughs> <laughs> he did. <laughs> Whoa! Why are, there, why are there naked men in my chat? What? <laughs> oh. Naked men in your chat? What the fuck are you looking at on your other screen? <laughs> A friend of mine just put pictures of naked men, muscular men, like with books suggestively hiding their bits. Nice. At <laughs> least you know they uh, they read. Yeah. Yeah, they read. I yes, don't know it... what these men were advertising, but okay. <laughs> but uh, yeah, that's the pooper whooper. Okay, <laughs> man. It's fine. It's, it's fine, fine, man. Okay, Trex. I think he emotional. was reaching for that whole blackface thing. He was. He's he maybe. Was he I don't you know. know I don't know gets. what was going on with this. No, paper. don't don't defend him. Okay, he reaches for shit like this all the time. Okay, he, uh, he it's does. Fine. Okay, uh, he, he needs to calm down. He, he, it's cool. Uh, so Black Whooper with bones coming out of him. So Whooper gets another type. Yeah, it's a uh, poison ground type. Poison ground type. Um, yeah, that's perfectly acceptable. So, I'm actually even more excited about this game. I'm curious about the four-player co-op situation. Like, when it comes to story-wise. As in, like, am I jumping into someone else's game, catching some Pokemon, going back to my game? Or, like, if we go fight a gym together, do you uh, do you get the gym at? Like, or do we play the story together? Like, does that... Like, because, you know, they have the two other stories, right? So, like, does that mm -hmm. progress also go to me or just to you and stuff like that? So, I'd be curious to know how the four-player co-op works. I'm just glad that they're listening yeah. 
because that's what we wanted. We wanted to be able to throw Pokeballs and catch Pokemon with our friends in the open world. So uh, we all asked for an open world. That's what we got here. We all asked for co-op. That's also what we have here. So I'm not going to bitch about this too much at all. Uh, we're definitely headed in the right direction with the Pokemon games. I'm really excited about this game. And honestly, if you don't start with the cat, are you uh, are you even human? Are you a human being? I know. It's like, I know it's a grass type, but come on. It's a kitty cat. You gotta. You, you literally have to. Or you're, you're, you're pretty much not human. Uh, <laughs> so... <laughs> So, uh, IGN has a little bit more about the, uh, the, the, the rideable bikes in the, I don't even know how to describe it. Oh, you used to, the, the, uh, terrestrializing? I'm probably saying that right, right? I hope I'm saying that right. Uh, close enough, yeah. Yeah, like the Allure Pokemon. Yeah, exactly. Um, uh, so this is the official word from IGN. So maybe they got a little more information about this than, than, than we do here. Uh, uh, the legendary Pokemon of Scarlet and Violet are living vehicles that can transform into bikes, boats, and planes. It's so it's just it's just that's just strange. So weird. To think about. Yeah, is as revealed in today's Pokemon Presents video. Oh, I said Pokemon Direct. Excuse me, it's Pokemon Presents. Pokemon Scarlet and Violet will feature two new legendary Pokemon, Corridon and, and Miradon. I'm probably butchered that. All legendary Pokemon typically have interesting abilities. But the next game in the series is taking it one step further, making them mounts that can adapt to that many different terrain across the new Pals region. Now, we even saw them climbing up mountains as well. Like, I, I, yeah. I saw that as well, so that's pretty cool. Uh, across the ground, Corridon and Moroni can act as living bikes for speedy cross-country travel. Hitting water will see them transform into a boat-like vehicle, while taking to the skies will see wings deploy and apparently engines. It seems like almost any kind of terrain won't be an issue for Corridon and Moroni. Uh, since the gameplay footage showed them climbing straight up sheer cliff faces as well as more normal grass fields and gentle waves. The official Pokemon website notes the three different travel modes and they have different names for each Pokemon. Corridon and his three builds, Sprinting, Swimming, and Gliding builds. Moradin has three pretty much identical modes, Drive, Aquatic, and Glide mode. The main difference seems to be that Corridon uses its legs to sprint, paddle, and wings to fly. While Morden is more mechanical in style, using its tail and throws its wheels. So why does Morden have a wheel, though? I don't... It's, okay. I'm going to stop. The Pokemon Company describes Scarlet and Violet as an open-world RPG, suggesting wide-open spaces will be an important aspect of the game. As with the recent Pokemon Legends Arceus, that may explain the need for a legendary Pokemon with such vehicle-like abilities. Now, I do agree that maybe this legendary Pokemon was designed specifically like this for this reason, to travel across the open world. I really do think that th that's on purpose for, for that to happen. Yeah. Um, and, and here's here's something. I don't know how much crossover this will have because you know how Pokemon likes to be like they, they like to put certain Pokemon in two different games. But this looks like one game. It's like So you have the organic Pokemon here like in um what is it called uh scarlet so you have the organic looking one in scarlet and then in violet you get the mechanical one so depending on how the story goes i guess um someone somewhere is copying the scarlet pokemon koridon and maybe that's a plot point true that's i don't right. know I don't know. I, I almost want to get... I was definitely going to get... Um, oh, my God. What's, what's the red one? Uh, 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 my my brain just stopped. Scarlet? Yeah, thank you. I'm so sorry. My brain just stopped. But <laughs> after after watching this video, I might actually get Violet. Because I think I might like the look of that a lot better. The legendary. I, I mean, if so I'm going to be riding around on a motorcycle, it'd be cool if it looked mechanical. So... <laughs> It just uh, kind of makes more sense in my brain. Definitely. So I, I do think that this is uh, really cool. I, I, it has a lot to like um, and a lot to be kind of weirded about. And uh, but I'm definitely into it. I'm gonna. I'm probably. I'm. I'm not gonna probably. I'm gonna get this game. I'm gonna, 
and we're probably going to fucking stream it and do the fucking four-player co-op. You know, it is what it is. Uh, yeah, this game will break my tradition of starting with a fire-type starter. I got to start with a kitten. Yes. Like, like it, it's just too fucking cute to not start with. That's just how it goes. Now, they haven't... They haven't... Here's the map here. They haven't released, like, a... Uh, it's evolution. Their leg, yeah, what their legendaries are gonna look like, right? That that also is a big thing for me. Like for with the way the legendaries look, I really hope the legendaries don't look lame. So I really hope the kittens' legendaries look lame. I hope it's like a lion or some crazy cool shit. Yeah. Uh, yeah. You could, uh, I, also, you could just not evolve it. That's true. That's true. But you gotta at some point. True. You, you, you get you get that temptation after a while you do. to let it to let it um, transform into its its next evolution. Um, but yeah, I'm a. The I'm map still looks crazy too. Yes, the it almost kind of reminded big. me of. It almost it almost reminded me of, like a, a map from Legend of Zelda. Yes, Hello. yes. Mm. And Doesn't what's that? It? Yeah, definitely. But because it looks like that kind of the main city looks like Hyrule Castle. Mm-hmm. And then you have like the big mountains and like the lake where where the Zoras would be. Uh, the only difference is like the mountain is snowy instead of fiery for the Gorons. Yeah, I totally yeah. agree with you. And they have like a desert area, uh, like oh man. And then this is this is gonna be a good game, man. And I'm I'm excited to play it. Um, yeah. I like what we saw here. Like I said, the legendaries to me aren't a turn off from the game. I just think it's a bit weird. But I also now. And pretty, pretty convinced that they were designed that way on purpose because this was designed as an open world game, and uh, I th and like, I feel like you're gonna get them really quickly. Like you're like you're gonna have your legendaries right off the rip. You're not obviously not gonna have to catch them. That almost makes me think that maybe there are like there's like one more overarching legendary in this game that you yeah, catch because like, there's all there's always like an end game legendary, right? There always is. Yes. Um... Uh, Arceus kind of did something similar um, and uh, what uh, what was the the Alo the Lin game Sun and Moon they yeah. they had after you got the, the legendary Pokemon you then get the extra dimensional ones um, but yeah I mean it's I want to play this game, bottom line, and I'm going to Same. get this game. But um, I once informate like once more information is released about, uh, especially about which Pokemon is going where, um, then I will make the decision on which one. Usually, I always get the blue version of the um, or the. Usually, I go towards the blue spectrum of the games. But who knows? Maybe they'll go red this time. Scarlet and Violet will reveal at the end game that you, the player, is the final legendary. Okay, man. <laughs> Pokemon and Zelda <laughs> Universe confirmed. True, true, true. Um, true. Yes, yeah, so it's going to be good, man. Let's go. Pokemon, Pokemon it is. The more Pokemon, the better. Let's go. Um, Let's go. You fucking Pokemaniacs. The problem is this game comes out around the same... Hey, listen! <laughs> that was good. The problem is this game comes out right around the same time as God of War Ragnarok. So, fuck. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> that that is the biggest hurdle to overcome. Um, <laughs> I wish I could drive my polka bike right through that. <laughs> <laughs> but I gotta be real. The gas station really fucking got me. Like, if you have to like fill these Pokemon up with some kind of gas or some shit, I'm gonna be like, what the actual fuck? We don't know that. Where is the gas coming from? So Where is the it, gas coming from? <laughs> they take Pokemon. You remember War of the Worlds? Where, like, they use people as fuel? It's going to be like that, but no. with Pokemon. <laughs> They're doing that with the fossil Pokemon that they don't put through the machine. Exactly. Through this. Oh, no. Fucking. Whew. Okay. Boom. There you go. We're done. It's over. You made it here at the end. Thank you all for watching so much. You're amazing. Uh, we made it here to the end. Let's go, man. 
uh, this, and again, if you made it this far and you watch on YouTube, don't forget you can watch us live every Wednesday at 9.30 p.m. Eastern ish over at twitch.tv slash Nerds of the Apocalypse. It's right there, and you can join in on the conversation like all, all, all these amazing people did right beneath me. All those people joined in, and so you can too. Don't forget it. So coming up for me, well, there is a Final Fantasy XIV live letter that I'm going to try to stream. Uh, it's not till like... Not this weekend, but like next weekend, I believe. So I'm gonna try to try to stream that a little bit. Have some fun. We're gonna get back into 14 because the new expansion is coming out, or the, excuse me, the new update rather. I'm really excited about making my own little island with my minions. Let's go. Um, very cool. I'm also still playing fucking Trails, and I'm gonna finish. Like I guess I'm gonna fucking finish Horizon, and I'm also gonna. Wow. Yeah. And I'm also. And I'm also gonna uh, uh, guess fucking play God of War. <laughs> So, and, and, and like, who knows when we're gonna fucking open up Forbidden West? Who knows? <laughs> the end of time. Um, yeah. So that's what you can expect from us. And if, I think Ari is also gonna be either she's de she's gotta finish fucking she's gonna be finishing Stray soon, or uh, 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 gonna be playing some more of the Mortuary's assistant. And we're gonna be getting probably getting back on the. I, I don't know if we're gonna be back on the raft next week. I brought up. Uh, we we played Tiny Tina's Wonderlands, and like we stopped playing it because I had to do crazy shifts, and we just didn't play it again. So I think next week we might jump on some Tiny Tina Wonderlands. Uh, nice. So Wait, is that least, multiplayer? Yeah. Oh yeah, it's four player co op, just like Borderlands. Oh. And it's cross platform too. Uh, across everything, I believe. Yeah, it's cool. I'm just saying, let me know if you get it. It'll be fun. Um, uh, yeah, so you got we got all that coming up. I wish I'd give you guys specific dates, but I can't. I'm sorry. I have to yeah. kind of wing it. Uh, but uh, what's going on with you? I kind of have to wing everything like I've been doing since ever. But um, I, I, I want to finish the quarry. I want to start Stray. I want to make progress in Raft. I want to do Mortuary Assistant with Dawn. I don't know when I'll get to these things. Hopefully this weekend, but I don't know. I might want to just stay in bed and eat Cheetos. <laughs> that, it, 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 happen, it happens to me so much. I just find myself like relaxing on the weekend. And I'm just like, fuck, I should be doing something content creator wise. But like, I don't know, yeah. work-life balance. I just find myself like hanging with the kids. You know, I could be at my computer. Or I could be sitting here, I mean, you know, or I could be doing other shit, so I don't know this We got a lot going on this weekend. Um, I have yeah. to get my old changed. Uh, Elena, Elena is in Taekwondo. She has her belt test on Saturday because she's oh, a bad dang. bitch. So, uh, yeah. yeah, she, I, I, I took this photo of her, man. She is, she's like, uh, kicking some wood. And I got her, like, mid, like, I, uh, like, with a with fucking screaming, cracking the wood. It's, it's, uh, God, man. She's nice. gonna be able to whoop my ass in. Uh, I mean, if you ever want to give, a, if you ever want to give away, I'm just saying. What's, wait, it, it will give away what? What are you talking about? You want to? If you ever want away? to give away, I'm just saying. What are we giving away? Yeah. Let's see. I remember those days. I didn't. I, I took karate. I didn't take taekwondo. But there was this one time where a taekwondo black belt visited our. Um, our dojo one night nice. and cool. um, you know he was cool and uh, we became sparring partners um, I was like two belts under or two levels under him because our system's different um, but I whooped him so good nice. I was so proud of myself like nice. he well he caught one night because we, we sparred two nights the first night he got me like he scraped me on the nose and I I um, my nose started bleeding, but then the second night, he, um, I got him back and I cut his lip. Let's go. But, <laughs> Get cut, but, bitch. Uh, with, with, like with the same type of kick he got me with, and um, but what's even funnier to me now, I felt bad about it at the time. Um, he the the next day, I cut his lip real good. Let's. Let's put that into context. I cut it real good. Um, but the next day, he had to go to his wedding. <laughs> so oh. he would be going to his wedding with a busted-ass lip. 
I, for some reason, I feel like he didn't feel bad about that. No, he didn't. <laughs> <but>. <laughs> no, you. <laughs> oh, me? No, I was like, I... I did the normal thing and acted like I felt bad about it after I found out. But I was very, I was still very proud of myself. <laughs> I was saying, good job. Let's go. Let's go. All right. Yeah. So if you guys aren't following X Tina on Twitch, it's right there to get notified when she goes live. Very cool. Um, okay, fam. I think that's about it. I think we're done here. Um, I am oh. just gonna, I, I am just gonna say here at the end, I'm gonna give a big fat fuck you to WB for uh, just canceling the Batgirl movie. I just, uh, well, that's all we're gonna say is fuck you WB. I hope you enjoyed, uh, I hope you enjoyed the fucking tax break. Get bent, get fucking bent. Uh, and uh, yeah, it is what it is. Uh, I saw this meme that was like WB Batgirl isn't good enough to release. We're going to eat that cost instead and save our brand rep. Like it's your brand rep is fucked anyway, so it's like chill. Yeah. Uh, Sony, we put Morbius, the worst superhero movie since Fantastic Four, in theaters twice, but we can't fucking see background on HBO Max. <laughs> okay, so it is what it is. There you go, fam. We love you. Okay. Uh, we will see you all next week for more game report. Will Trex be here? Probably not. Uh, probably not. <laughs> just, just being honest. But will, will we be able? To, will we get him to start writing us things and we can mock him? Yes, that, that'll happen. Uh, we can do mocking voices. It'll be great. Um, yes. All right, gang. Uh, I'm of course Stevie B, and this amazing individual next to me is. Dina is ninja. X Dina is ninja right there. And uh, that's it, man. We're out. We love you, awesome nerds. You guys have a fantastic night. And we'll see. I'll see you guys either Friday or Saturday. All right. We love you guys. I can't I can't believe what happened in background, man. I, I read that. I was like, I, I read that in like disbelief. I didn't think that that shit could ever happen. Like, I really didn't think yeah. that like that that happened. But I guess it yeah. does happen. It, it happens but very rarely like I, I i don't even remember the last time it happened but i know maybe like, i don't this, know 30 years ago this like 20 years ago something like that this discovery boss is just wrecking one of them like i i i feel like they're getting rid of hbo max because you shared that thing where they're like they pulled a bunch of original content like like i feel like HBO Max is the much, much more popular than Discovery Plus. Am I wrong about that? Uh, absolutely no. Um, HBO, content-wise, has way more going on for it than a lot of other streaming services right now. I mean, like, I, I mean, objective. Like, that's an objective statement, but right. But I get what you're it, saying. I mean, yeah, it, it's got I, a lot going for it. And it just sounds like a hostile takeover is what this sounds like. I agree. I, because... wa I was subscribed to Discovery yeah. Plus for a little while. And I'm going to be honest with you. I, wa I subscribed to watch 90 Day Fiance. <laughs> oh, my God. See, I, I would probably, if I can actually get my parents to, like, nix cable, I mean, I... I would probably subscribe to, to Discovery so they can s continue watching their stupid ass shows. But, you know, and, and like, and we would still have HBO somehow in some capacity. But, like, it, as of right now, the, the way that, like, they're just shit canning everything just does not give me hope that, you Even know, HBO Max is going to be a thing within the next year. I guess we'll see. All right, gang. Good night. We love you. Bye.